<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today instead of showing you my lovely new Aprilia I have robbed Hippodrones' bike which is uh, extremely comfortable <laughs> like wow <laughs> this thing is crazy comfy and the clutch is so light I'm just after getting off the Aprilia where the clutch is like an anchor <laughs> dragging an anchor back up this thing is crazy I feel like I'm on like a couch a full like proper couch Pez is having fun I hope Pete enjoys the Aprilia because it's uh, it's a bit rough and ready at the moment we just changed the brake pads on it uh, which is which is nice Pez is doing his balancing act of it brilliant um, but it's yeah, we, we, we changed the brake pad, so it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Um, other than that then, yeah, the Aprilia is great, changed the brake pads on it, it's it's a bit of a handful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this bike, this is so comfy. And for the last few days, this has given my hips a, a big, big break. Um, and, you know, the V85 TT is a bike I've always been interested in, you know, the, the air-cooled Guzzi Twin. Um, it's just something that has always interested me, so to get the chance to ride it is, is really cool. It's such a relaxed riding position. I cannot get over it. And, I mean, it has poke. I know they lack they lack top end. They're like 80 something, 80 something brake horsepower, I think. So they do lack top end, but I mean, uh, overall, it's uh, a very, very comfortable bike so far. I've only just just sat on it, but. Uh, Honestly, after the last, I've done like, I think 1100 kilometers in the last couple of days. Ooh, that's glass. I think I've done 1100 kilometers on the, the Aprilia in the last few days. And to say that um, it's, it's actually pretty comfortable. I'll, I'll go through that in a different video, but it's, um, it's definitely a big change getting onto something as cozy as this. This thing is an absolute breeze. I love the I'm loving it sticker as well. So uh, massive thanks to both Big Pezza and uh, Hippo Drones for, for bringing me out today because basically how this came about was I messaged Pete, uh, aka Hippo Drones. Hello, hello. Um, and said, you know, I'll be coming through the UK with my new bike. Do you want to meet up? And uh, not only is he, had he has he met up with me, he's bringing me off to sea places. So. Uh, huge thanks to him and uh, also a massive thanks to Pez for joining in. I know Pez was disappointed because, um, you know, originally I think everyone thought... I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose, but I think everyone thought I um, I was getting like an adventure bike, which I originally was, but I ended up not. So I kind of feel bad because the guys were planning on doing... Um, like a bit of green lane and with me and that obviously uh, hasn't come to pass so I do apologize guys if you're watching this back at a later date not uh, not an intentional not an intentional trickery and at the moment I think I think where we're going is Rikers cafe they were saying uh, along some tasty back roads so it should be very interesting what do you think you like it yeah. Well, that's good to hear. He likes it. The engine on that Aprilia is an absolute uh, peach, to be honest. It's funny, like on these type of roads, first, second, third gear, that's all you need. And it's actually enjoyable now, rather than being just kind of half scary because the brakes are working. Uh, the brake pads were just super worn down, which, I mean, they were still in their service limit. The bike could pass the TUV, so it's it's a bit... I'm not going to say disappointing. I'll cover it in, an, in another video, like I said, but it's, um, it, I would have rathered, you know, the offer at least was made, hey, do you want to replace the brake pads and we'll charge you X amount for it? Uh, but that didn't happen, so I just had to change them here. P&H Motorcycles in Crawley is where I got the, uh, the brake pads. So thank you for having them in stock. Uh, we threw them in over at uh, Hippodrones' house. Thanks for the loan of your tools, Pete. Much appreciated. I'm not going to lie, it's nice being back with a little bit of uh, sunshine. It's one good thing about the likes of Ireland and the UK is it never gets too cold. Uh, yesterday was too cold. This bike is lovely. The 
seat and everything's just so plush. Pete, this is like an armchair. This is actually like an armchair. Like your arms are, my arms are so relaxed. My butt's so comfy and I'm just bouncing along here. Ever so happy. Um, it's, a, it's a spot, it's funny like, cause I've been watching um, Hippo Drones' channel for a long time, and Big Pez's actually, uh, for a long time. And it's great to meet them in person. It's something that it's, it's crazy to think it took this for me to actually meet, meet the two of them. Um, you know, because realistically, they're like a ferry ride and a short spin away from Ireland. Like, they're not far in the grand scheme of things. It's just silly that I haven't done it yet, really. And it's something that, you know, it's one thing that I want to do more of this year is get out and meet more people. Um, you know, meet more people on bikes, that is. Other people as well, I suppose. But bikes. And now that I have that Aprilia, especially as well, I really like doing like I would love to do micro tours now like just me and my backpack and off I go because it's perfect for that you know it's um, the fact I could do a thousand kilometers in a couple of days comfortably like not super comfortably I would probably plan for shorter days uh, particularly with the storm I rode through yesterday uh, but no overall it was it was very it was very cozy It has a bit of poke to it, and has a little gear indicator too. Handles corners well. It's a lovely bike. This, it's really a lovely bike. It's just you know, it's it's funny because it's a uh, it's a bike I've, I've actually never ridden before. Long admired, but never ridden a Moto Guzzi, and uh, a nice introduction. I want. I really can't wait to hear what Pete thinks of that. Brilliant. I know um, the new Moto Guzzi, the V100 Mandelo, it's a bike that if if I won the lottery, it's a bike I'd have tomorrow, <laughs> or on order tomorrow, because obviously you can't get one tomorrow, but definitely on order tomorrow, because I really think it's a, it's a beautiful bike, and obviously it being an early, it, you know, if you buy one in the next year or two, it's going to be like an early adopter thing, because they've added quite a lot of new tech to it. Um, for a company that aren't really known for their tech so it'll be interesting to see how that that works out if it if it you know if it works in such a way that uh if you know it actually works and doesn't just break instantly it'll be it'll be cool to see but if i had if i won the lotto and money wasn't of a concern that i could take the risk the gamble on buying something like that i absolutely would uh instead i went and spent a hell of a lot less money on that Aprilia back there, which is 22 years old and has the the very reliable um, 60 degree V2 Rotax engine in it. Um, the bike in front of us also has a Rotax engine, not BMW, which I did not know. And Pez told put, told us back at the house there, but uh, yeah, very interesting. So I suppose let me just run through what I think of this bike really quick so far. It's it's very comfortable, very comfortable. Um, I'm I'm not surprised i would say i'm surprised but i'm not i expected it to be comfortable i didn't expect it to be this neutral even for a, a man of my size it is it's funny how just relaxed i am as well because it's 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 one of those bikes that's funny because you know if if it can comfortably sit someone pete's height and we'll, we'll try to get a side by side of us so that you can kind of get a good estimation of um the height difference But if I can comfortably fit someone his height and then comfortably fit someone my height, that's that's an impressive design in my opinion. Because too many people, I think, design for you know like a very actually quite a small window. You maybe like five eight to six two. That's you capture most people, but you also kind of forget a lot of people, which is kind of sad. Um, but this, you know, this is I, I, I like literally I could definitely sit on this all day long and just tore on it. If I, if I had been coming back from Germany on this thing, I would imagine I would do most of the mileage in a day. Just because there is no pressure on like my shoulders, my hips, nothing. Um, so if you're tall and we're looking at one of these, uh, you know, again, repeating myself as always, I'm six foot seven um, and weigh 280 odd pounds. This thing is just butter. Uh, it's, it's lovely. And sitting, sitting on it is honestly, it's like sitting at home in an armchair. 
uh, scrolling through my phone riding it is that is that easy which you know obviously says a lot for the engine and gearbox as well it's just smooth um i like bitey brakes the brakes on this aren't aren't too bitey what does pete have open at 3817 miles so yeah the, the, i would imagine that's just what the brakes are like um i would probably prefer them a little bit more bitey but that's probably you know the abs and all that crack but yeah, no, other than that, I think it looks great. Um, feels great to ride. I know these aren't like astonishingly expensive new as well, which is, is nice. But it always, it's, it's one of those things that I always, you know, say, and people people ask me about it all the time as well, is like, you know, you could buy a new bike. I could buy a new bike. Or instead I could buy lots of the old bikes like the one behind us right now, the Pete's on. And not only that, I could get a trip in, a nice trip, meet, meet new well meet friends I already had but meet them in person and uh you know go from there which is really it's it's nice you know what i mean that's that's what i like to do because bikes bikes for me aren't just like uh something to go spend money on and have in the garage bikes for me are they're uh, a, a huge part of my life and you know to be able to just go get one on a trip and meet people on the way home and have a little bit of a holiday see places that i've never seen before ride on roads that I've never ridden on before, ride a bike that I, I had never ridden before. Yeah, it was a gamble, but it's one that paid off. And it's also gotten me to a place where I can test ride a V85 TT, which is a bike that I have always liked since they released it. Um, so thanks again, Pete, for trusting me on your bike. Uh, much appreciated. This whole area is beautiful though. I see what the guys like riding here. Um, Pezza, Pezza said it in fairness before we left. He said, we'll go on a nice road and uh he was not lying this is gorgeous this is a really really nice road has to be said uh, to be honest i'll talk about it in another video anyway but it's it's been one of the best decisions i've ever made in my life is to go get that bike just kind of from from every every angle you know even getting over here this is another you know this is a road again i've never ridden on before i've never been to rikers I think it's, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm going up to the top of Box Hill, which I've never been to before, but I have seen on videos. It's just it's just a cool uh, life experience, which is, you know, like I said, it's, it's it's a large part of what bikes are for me. So it's, it's really, really cool. It's really cool. I'm having a great time. <laughs> oh, yes. I love that shift light. <laughs> that was cool. I forgot how like soft this clutch. It's uh, honestly after on being on the Aprilia, I'm gonna need to get used to other clutches again because it's so heavy and it bites so str it bites straight away. I'm not sure is that actually nor normal normal or do I need to do something with the clutch? I'll have to have a look when I go home. This bike is this bike is lovely. It's so comfy. I wonder is it is it is it almost one of those ones that's too good? And Pete, if you watch this, let me know. Because I know you've said before you're not sure do you love this. Was it because it's kind of just too neutral? I'm interested because the power is kind of neutral. The brakes are neutral. The seating position is neut neutral. The looks are kind of out there. The looks are not neutral. So that's one reason you definitely love it more. Um, but everything else about it is just like nice. Which is very interesting. I assume that's Fox Hill in front of us. That is very pretty. It's always different seeing these things, and it's why I tell people, you know, people people watch my videos, people comment on my videos, and they're like, oh, where's that? You know, that's really cool. I, I hope I get to see it one day. And if you're anywhere close, and it's any way possible to get to see stuff with your own eyes uh, do, because it's everything always looks different in your own eyes. Always. Always, always looks different. In a good way. You know, the thing about this bike that I'm noticing is it's actually quite flicky. For a big, tall bike, it's quite flicky. Moto Guzzi, you did a great job. Bloody cyclists. I literally, I, I, I change countries and still cyclists ruin nice roads. And I am a cyclist, so I can say that, because I know I ruin roads on people too. I am allowed to give out about them because they are also my people. <laughs> like I can give out about Aprilia people now as well because I own an Aprilia stupid Italian bike loving fools I do love my Aprilia though 
Uh, I, it's funny because a lot of people ask me, you know, you're buying it to flip it, you're buying it to flip it. And like, I didn't know, but now I know I'm not. Definitely, definitely not. I can hear, I can hear its meatiness there behind me and I'm like, ha, nice. I have to say, it's funny though, getting on this is actually, it's like a brake. Because, you know, it's, it's extra riding in a way, but also it's not because I'm on this couch. I have to give it the stand-up test. Oh, that's nice. That'd be good for an old stretch. Hello, hello. I definitely think at some point I'm going to change the CBF for something like this, though. Something that's more city uppy. Something that's more relaxed. Um, like, yes, I did tour on the CBF, but you know, it's um, honestly that Falco is it's kind of just as comfortable as the CBF. I'm still kind of scrunched up a bit on the CBF. Not badly, and not as bad as the Falco, but it's all tolerable. I have to say, well impressed with this bike. And it's funny because you know all the like. Obviously, I know it's it's a, an older goozy thing, um, but the the stories of the engines pulling you and all that when you're in corners. Uh, this bike is is butter smooth, and this guy is in the center of the road. I do think, by the way, I'm not. I'm, it, I rag on cyclists. And I, like I said, I am a cyclist, I am a road cyclist. But I do think that it's up to governments to give cyclists a safe place to go cycle, you know what I mean? I don't actually like cycling on the road anymore because it's just so bloody dangerous and people are pissed off at you because you, you are holding them up. There's no other way to look at it. You absolutely 100% are holding them up, um, which is... Like, I get it, I get it, you know, it's not your fault you're on a bike, it's... You're out doing your thing, but um, you know you can also you have to you have to put yourself into the other person's shoes and realize that you know you're pissing them off because you're you're slowing down the thing that they want to do. Um, now it's not enough for the rage that some people put out at all, but it is something that you know it's not ideal for anyone. And I do think it'd be better if there were actual actual good cycle paths, not the ones that you get that have like you know all the step ups and stuff in them that's that's shit let's be honest about it um and something that i think you know government should work harder to get rid of put in actual safe cycle pads that don't have steps everywhere that people can go and enjoy their bicycles on Ooh, i imagine that hurt poor old pete back there the suspension on that aprilia is a hell of a lot stiffer than this this is like honestly it's like riding a cushion I'm riding a big cushion, a big McDonald's coloured cushion. Oh yeah, by the way, that's not an insult, I absolutely love the colour on this bike. Uh, this is also excessively good on fuel, it says distance and empty 252 miles. I think the Aprilia, <laughs> the Aprilia is doing about 120, 130. Uh, actually, let me know where you'd like to see me take that Aprilia behind us. Um, where do you want it to go? I'm kind of half tempted to bring it to like Snowdonia later in the year. That would be cool. Oh, is this where we're stuffing? Excellent. Now that is lovely, mate. Isn't it? It's a f***ing reach to the bars. <laughs> what do you think of the clutch? The clutch is not too much of a problem. The throttle view, that was definitely getting a bit tiring on my wrist by the end of that. So I, with all the miles you've done, you must be... I'm all right, honestly. It's because I'm... Manly hands, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Just big ones. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they're, they're quite large, yeah. Um, oh, no. Oh, he's got a limp. <laughs> a limp noodle. Very nice. That's lovely. You like? Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I very much like that. It's, it, it's a lot further than my Gixxer to the bars, though. Uh, you see, I think that's why it suits me, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, like, just relaxed. The foot peg to the seat ratio for me is lovely, though. <laughs> I, really, I really like that. Um, I was a bit nervous going down on the side stand, because it's a really short stand, isn't it? It's it's funny, actually. It's um, it's um, it, But then when you're on flat ground, I think it stands up quite straight. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's just because it's tucked under. That bike sounds class. It is proper fruity, isn't it? Yeah, it's like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so quiet with the stock exhaust on it. It is, but even with the um, the Zard that I had on before, it, it's very, very muted. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the 
the camera microphone seem to pick it up quite well. Yeah. Whereas with that one, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a refined. Sound. Yeah, yeah, a, a refined. Right. What did you think of the induction noise on this? I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a go? No, no, no. He knows where we go next. <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't no, want to do the hairpin. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I'll enjoy this bit. Well, thank you very much, Pete. That was a. Uh, that was very nice. No problem, my pleasure. And thank you for letting me have a go on your new bike. No, not at all. That's like a couch, is what that is. <laughs> it's honestly just like a couch. It is very comfy, isn't it? It's ridiculous. <laughs> In a good way. Ridiculously yeah, yeah. comfy.